I'm pretty sure most electric chokes are going to work the same uh, for this Weber 3236. Uh, there's my electric choke. There's the uh, little spade connector thing I put on the wire. And basically you need to have a 12 volt power source uh, that's only hot when the ignition's on. So a switched 12 volt source. So what I did, shall I hold the light? So what I did is, I, uh, they weren't using any of these wires. They actually, the guy that I got it from had the uh, electro electric choke from the stock carburetor hooked up on this red wire. So I put a new connector on it because it was a hack job and my electric choke wasn't working. Basically when you turn the ignition on it's supposed to slowly open up as it gets current from that 12 volt source. So I used my multimeter and I checked this plug and they were using the, uh, the red wire which if you look in here is uh, the red one would be that top vertical blade not the bottom one, not the two on the side, the top one and uh, you know I looked at it where it plugs in here and used my multimeter and uh, well I'll show you right now let me just turn on my ignition Okay, so uh, I got a Klein multimeter. A lot of guys I see are using the uh, Harbor Freight one, so it's a little different. Uh, have it set to volts right there, and then have your uh, red plug in the uh, volt port, not the 10 amp port, and then your ground in the uh, common ground port. Right now it's reading 40. I guess it's, I don't know, they said it's like the atmospheric voltage or whatever who knows stray voltage I don't know I'm not an electrician but I know the basics and uh, you know you can test your battery for people that don't know how to use a, a multimeter shall I hold that there that's my negative terminal positive and getting 12.59 which is uh, that's fine if it's not started when you you can check your alternator and whatnot the, could find videos on that. It goes up to like 14 when it's charging. Anyway, so I'm gonna have her hold the phone. Sorry, I'm doing this at night. And I'm unscrewing the cap to make it easier to get connection. I'm just gonna stick this in the battery negative terminal. <clears throat> just put it on the multimeter. So I'm going to check these plugs. Now remember, my ignition is switched on. So I want to find one of these that has power when the ignition is on. 12 volts. So the one that they had was one of the flat ones. Go ahead and point it at the plug and at the multimeter. So 0.74, not even 1 volt. All right, now the other flat one doesn't really matter, but... Uh, 15, 16, so 16 volts, I guess, I don't know if that's right, but anyway, don't use that one. <laughs> and this one is right at 12.3, and that's the one that I hooked my wire to. This one is also 12.3, so I guess both of these, when you have the ignition switched on, are 12 volts. Both of these, Shelly, you can get that, these ones right here which on this plug would be those these two. If you turn the plug over you can see which wire it is. Can you get, can they see that? And mine, I'm going to unhook it, was this wire right here. I stripped the end, put a connector on it, hooked it right up to the connector on my electric choke, all I'm going to do is, oh yeah, now I'm going to shut off the ignition so you can see the voltage difference. And the ignition's off. Now when I go to check it, 
multimeter, the two that had power now have zero. And the other one, zero. The other two, which don't really matter because I'm not using that, zero, zero. So none of these have constant power except that one, I guess. Yeah, 10 to 13. Now I might be doing something wrong here, but it's going all over the place, so I don't know. Again, not an electrician, sorry for the crappy video. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn the ignition back on. <clears throat> and now I know that both of those plugs right here, or terminals or whatever, are getting power when it's on 12 volts which is what you want. Now, to uh, check and make sure you are getting power, uh, and another thing is the, uh, I was told that the, by, you know, Yoda Tech guys and, you know, a couple of my mechanic buddies that there's no uh, ground prong to hook up a wire to. You don't need to run a ground wire on your electric choke anywhere. It actually gets grounded through the carburetor. So to test that, I've got my positive on the positive. And I'm just gonna touch anywhere on the carburetor and if you'll see, look, point at the multimeter. So when I touch it, which is now, boom, 12. Another spot on the carburetor, 12. Now it's off, another spot on the carburetor, 12. So. It's grounded through the carburetor. You don't need to run a ground wire. So that's that. And look at the carburetor. Look at the butterflies up on top. Uh, it's got current right now, so it's going to be slowly opening up. I guess it doesn't really have enough to open up without any kind of force. But if you just move the throttle a little bit, you'll see when it goes back. Or here, let me just do this. Well, after a couple minutes, it'll start opening up, but I'm not going to waste your time and show you, but it is working. Uh, truck runs fine, and that's pretty much it.